In November 2019, two workshops took place in two different cities in Scotland, in Aberdeen with ESOL learners and in Edinburgh with primary school children and some of their parents. In these two workshops, we approached the potential of dance and kinetic reading from the perspective of foreign and second language learners. During the workshops, participants were led through a variety of contemporary dance techniques, textual analyses of poetry in relation to the choreographic approaches in both English and other languages spoken across Scotland. This included indigenous and community languages. The workshops gave us an opportunity to investigate the views of language learners on the role and the potential of dance and poetry performance in language learning. Kinetic reading merges language and dance through learning. It's a new technique being delivered by Dance Ahead to support language learning and literary analysis through movement. The technique grew from Zoe Lee Gadd's work with dancers as a choreographic tool, utilising poetry as a stimulus for creation. Collaboration and interdisciplinary research is now paramount for the development of the technique. The components of the technique allow for an inclusive approach in a workshop context and stem from 15 years of teaching experience across ages and contexts. What happens when a kinetic approach to learning meets more conventional approaches to text-based education? The chance to explore this in two distinct workshops was particularly exciting and we are thankful to Creative Multilingualism for supporting the opportunity. Here's more insight into each of the workshops. The key ingredients of delivering a kinetic reading workshop are freedom, people, dance, creativity, language and innovation. These help to encourage play, sharing, gesture, imagination, text and courage from the participants. The Aberdeen workshop was designed for adult ESOL learners and took place on the 9th of November 2019 at the University of Aberdeen. The workshop was partially funded by the Festival of Social Science and was organized as part of the festival. Thus, we were included in their program. The workshop was open to adult ESOL learners who attended accredited and or informal ESOL classes and activities. We also had a few places open to ESOL teachers. Consequently, we had 12 participants, 10 females and 2 males, aged between 23 and 66 years old, and there were 16 different languages spoken within the group. We asked our participants to complete an open-ended questionnaire after the workshop so we could assess feedback, impact and explore any further direction in kinetic reading research. Overall, the workshop received excellent feedback. The participants said that they discovered that it was possible to learn in different ways. They also said that the workshop was incredible, an easy, fun and effective tool, different and creative. Although we can generalize because it was a one-off and small-scale workshop, it is possible to trace the impact on individual participants. The workshop made people feel more confident, less blocked and open-minded in relation to language, but also to the world. However, the most fascinating thing for me as a doctoral researcher was to see a group of ESO learners who during the workshop transformed from a group of strangers to a group of friends chatting in English and having fun. However, it is important to explore ways in which kinetic reading could be implemented into an ESOL classroom. Our small-scale funding suggests that learners would be interested in this type of activities in a classroom and recognize them as beneficial for language development. However, we need more focus on research on how to implement the activities into a formal classroom context. A step into that direction will be to develop kinetic reading resources accessible to teachers, so teachers could have access to a tangible resource that they can go back to and learn from it. The workshop in Edinburgh was designed for children aged 9 and 11 years old. 
It took place on the 10th of November as part of the Edinburgh Multilingual Stories Festival, organized by the Bilingualist Matters Centre at the University of Edinburgh. The workshop was advertised via Eventbrite and the participants were four children aged between 8 and 11 years old, two participating parents, we also had three observing parents. In total, participants spoke eight languages, all children were in formal education. The participants shared with us their thoughts via the questionnaire and relaxed conversation we had during the workshop. I observed the workshop, made notes and wrote down my reflections afterwards. I also had an opportunity to speak to some parents a few weeks after the workshop. The feedback was mostly positive. It was fun, participants felt happy, active, energetic, although the activities were demanding. Too much in one go, said one parent, and one child was hoping for some free dance, not so much copying. Most participants agreed that the workshop affected the language skills. However, some could not picture kinetic reading in school. It would be weird and naughty, and not useful for language learning, because it does not include actions. The findings show that both children and parents enjoyed kinetic reading. Children continued practicing it long after the workshop ended, and those who did not still remembered the phrases and movements they learned for at least a couple of weeks. Directions for the further research would be to work with teachers and schools to find out whether there is a place for kinetic reading in a mainstream school, what aspects of language learning it is most effective for, how it could be implemented, and what support would teachers need. The following video contains clips from each of the workshops that took place in November 2019. Here you will see participants exploring the percussive approach, the syllabic approach and generally indulging within the technique of kinetic reading.